What's up, everybody? Ben Rezzi here for Odd Chopper. I am back. Week four of college football is here, and what a week it is. Matchups on matchups of ranked teams against ranked teams. Marquee every time slot. Starting, you got to get clear your schedule. Family, friends, responsibilities, they all go out the window because there is football from noon to all night that we need to be watching. And here, what we're going to do, we're going to take some of that, and we're going to try to build out a parlay. You know the trail. Every week, I take three games. We put them together and we try to cash that big money ticket. Is it easy? No. If we hit one, though, we're in business. That's what we're going to do. We're getting closer. Last week, we were right there. The backup quarterbacks. We have multiple quarterbacks that didn't play. Survive West Virginia, Arizona State. No more. Eight turnovers. That can't be happening. But let's dive into this. Appreciate you guys. Again, if you're here for the first time, whether you're a loyal listener, like button, subscribe. It's all really, really appreciated. Let's run it up. Let's build up this community. We're starting. I don't care. I've been waiting for this game. Colorado State screwed it all up for us. Cost me six points probably. I'm an idiot for not hitting this on the look ahead. It's still inside three touchdowns at BetMGM though. Yeah, it's minus 115, but I'm, I don't care. I want a position on Oregon. This is the best I can find at 20 and a half. I am going there. This is not a slight of Colorado. This is just a massive step up. And I don't know. I mean, it's only week four, but honestly, they might be running on fumes. These are some emotional games. Double overtime against in-state rival. Travis Hunter is now out. And this is, you're going into Autzen. This is not easy. Now, TCU, that was a crazy win. They were about this uh, big of underdog in that spot. But I think we're going to find out that TCU just might not be that good. Then they played Nebraska, who isn't good. And then they played Colorado State, and they almost lost. Uh, Oregon, they scored 81 points against the team. I don't even care that it was an FCS opponent. That's absurd. Then they survived a very difficult road test against Texas Tech. Then they came back home and they mopped up Hawaii. No problem there. They're electric. Bo Nix, Heisman candidate. And we know what Colorado can do offensively. We absolutely respect that. That's why the over also kind of makes sense in my mind. Because I think Colorado is going to be live for, you know, 20 plus points in the spot. I think that Oregon is live for 60. I really do. I don't see how they're going to be able to slow this Ducks offense. They got weapons up and down the field on the outside. And again, Bo Nix running this offense is no joke. Oregon's defense has been gashed a little bit. They have given up some production. I'm just not sure it matters. With Colorado's depth starting to be tested, they're very banged up early in the season. I think if there's one thing that Dion hasn't fixed just yet, and again, it's year one, he's got a lot of top-end players, but how much depth do they have at some of these positions? We're about to find out because they will be tested in this spot. I'm going to call for the Ducks to win in a laugher. Uh at home, almost unbeatable. We know it's not just about winning the game. They got to win by three touchdowns. I absolutely think they can and will do that. Oregon is the first team in the parlay this week. Now, before I get you to another pick to build up this fan, we got the foundational piece. I do want to say, I say it every week, and it's true. If you're betting parlays, trying to hit these big money tickets, the bankroll is going to have crazy cold streaks. There's no doubt about it. Even if you're doing everything right, never mind if you're doing things wrong, then you, you're real real trouble. But regardless, take the bonus bets when you can find them. And if you don't play on BetMGM, Bet10 Get 200 is on the screen. It's on the board. It's in the link in the description. You click that link. Take a little of your bankroll, maybe from another site or that you've been waiting to deploy. Put it in here. Bet10 Get 200 in bonus bets. You're going to be credited with these $50 bonus bets and you know four of them. It makes the difference. You could use those for parlays. You could use those for bankroll boosters. You could use those for whatever you want. Uh, it's an opportunity that when you look at the bottom line, it will make a difference. Uh, so take advantage of that. Again, no reason not to. We got to put another team on this parlay. One team's not going to get it done scrolling. So many different options, so many different ways to go. But I'm going to hopefully, you know, we start at 3.30. We'll get that one done. We'll eat some dinner. We'll be chilling out until we get to our next game. No, it's not Ohio State, even though I do like that. Can't find under the, we, you know, if 13 and a half was here, I'd be jumping. It's just not. Went to Odd Chopper to try to find it. It's just not there. 14 and a half is readily available. And it's a 40 point total. So a little narrow margins here, but this is another, I, I guess this is the theme of the parlay this week. I don't care. I do not care that it's a low total. Penn State at home at night with the whiteout. Good luck. Iowa, not a team that I was high on. Yeah, they, they are beating up teams, but look. let's look at who they played. Okay, you open the season against Utah State, who's a mess. Win, good job. Then you play Iowa State, who's a triple mess. They got gambling issues. It's a rivalry game. Iowa was in full control. Then they almost gave it away. Good, you're 2-0. Then they played Western Michigan, who might be the worst team in the country. 
and they scored 40 plus points, which is a miracle uh, in itself. McNamara has been average at best. He's not really doing anything out there. The Iowa running attack is not elite in my mind. The defense is good. It's always good, but they lost a lot of production. And now they play Penn State, who I think is a serious threat to win it all. I really do. They're going to get tested, of course, by Ohio State and Michigan and those teams. This team has all the pieces. Uh, They've been chilling as well. They beat up on West Virginia, and then they beat Delaware by like 100. Then they had to go on the road to Illinois. No problems there. Aller is filled in beautifully for for Clifford. He's taken over in control of this offense. Now, it doesn't hurt to have two elite running backs, a big-time receiver, a great offensive line, and a defense that anyone would kill for, but that's the cards he's been dealt. He's done a great job uh, just fitting in and playing his role. I look at Penn State. Yeah, it could be a grinded-out game. No doubt about it. They will wear down Iowa. I think Iowa is live to score under 10 points in this game. Enough plays will be made by Penn State. Never mind if they jump out ahead and Iowa is forced to throw the ball. Then it could snowball. This screams like 31 to 7 to me. That type of game. I don't see Iowa competing on the road. Hostile environment. Penn State, I think, has the advantages on both sides of the ball. I don't really see this one being close. And even though I can't find inside two touchdowns, which I would love, because this could easily land on 14 and then we're, we're done. I'll lay 14 and a half in this spot. I will call for Penn State to control the game, lean on the really whatever they want, but I, I would say lean on the running game and lean on the defense and wear down Iowa, force them into some mistakes, take advantage when you can, and let's win this one going away. So two big favorites for me to start the parlay in Oregon and Penn State. Got to find the closer. Say we get through. We got to find that last leg. To put it all together, I, I will say if you have questions, if you game I didn't get to, you can always check out the episodes of Betting You. You can always check out all the other videos on the channel. You can also tweet me at JazzRazDFS. I'm there. I'm available. Happy to help. I'm also in our Discord, hanging out, answering questions. If you ever want to get in there, get more plays, get more picks, just be part of the team and have some fun. I'll bring it up on the screen real quick. It's there. You see all the familiar faces, a lot of great guys in there, uh, and just a really fun community. We're all about just getting better, trying to make some money and just having a good time. So link in the description, save yourself some money when you get in there. Hopefully, like I said, we're sweating out this third leg of this parlay. Here we go. Tricky, but I like it. This is a game that, uh, this is why I love doing this content. I was not on this game to begin the week. I had a show with Matt Gajewski and he kind of convinced me and now I really like this spot. I'm going to lay the points with Kansas State in a game that is a mystery game. And why do I say that? It's because there are injuries all over the place. Let's start with Central Florida, who last week played Villanova. So we don't really know how impacted they are because Plumlee is hurt and he is out. Uh, you know, New quarterback takes over. Originally a South Florida guy. Now he's a Central Florida guy. Some mobility. But against an FCS opponent, everything looks good. Now he has to hit the road and go into Manhattan, which is a tough place to play. It's a Kansas State defense that I think has shown uh, the ability to cause some problems. So Central Florida, we just, I don't really know what they're about without Plumley. He's such an electric player, and we know that he's out. I worry about how good Central Florida will be on the road here. Yes, they did go up to the blue turf, but Boise State's real bad this year, and now Kansas State. What did we see with them? Well, we were against them last week, and I'm not going to say we got lucky because I, I really believe Missouri was the right side, but the end of that game was bananas. Uh, Missouri screwed it up, and then they won on a 61-yard field goal at home to take down Kansas State. Now Kansas State comes home. What is the problem? Well, I don't know if it's a huge problem, but Will Howard is very banged up, and certainly he's a a very legitimate quarterback. If he doesn't play, that would be a loss. The reason that I'm okay with this, one, I think that the line is very generous, and two, if he does not play, I was really impressed with Avery Johnson. We saw him. He's a high recruit for them. He came in in relief a little bit in the Missouri game, and I thought he was in full control of the offense, and that was on the road. Now he's back at home. I think he'll be very comfortable in the spot. He's got legit dual threat ability. I think Central Florida is going to be in trouble regardless of who's under center, and for that reason, that's really the main catalyst for this. I think that Avery Johnson uh, is is good enough to come in and deal with this, particularly at home, if Howard's not good to go. Now, if he's good to go, that's even better, and I bet we get some closing line value here. At three and a half, I am content with this. Kansas State as the last leg of the three-team parlay over on Bet MGM. Let's sum it up. Let's look at it. Here we go. We got the Ducks. We got the Nittany Lions. We got the Wildcats. Three teams, nearly six to one. We put them in because we got some 115s in there. 
Look at that. Look at that beauty right there. Let's hope that we give it a shot. You can't hit the parlay unless you hit the first one. So it's up to you, Oregon. Get it done for us. Set the stage for Penn State. Get it done for us. Set the stage for Kansas State. And if we hit all three, a nice, nice bankroll booster in week four. There you have it. Thanks again for tuning in. Appreciate you guys. I love doing this. I know it's tough to hit a parlay, but we're going to keep grinding away and put one together for me, for Oregon, for Penn State and Kansas State. Enjoy all the games on Saturday. Thanks again for tuning in. I will talk to you guys next week. 